White trunks for Junior Dos Santos. Red trunks for Mark Hunt. Look for Junior to use his range, athleticism, and footwork early. And look for the power leg kicks and ruthless punches of Mark Hunt as well. These are two big, powerful mixed martial artists. And I like the, far, the fact that Mark started out right away with a leg kick. We, didn't, we haven't seen that much from him inside the octagon, but that dude has two tree trunks that are walking him around. <laughs> yeah, he does. And you can only take so many of those. Dos Santos staying at range here. The junior thinks he's faster, and he believes that he can knock Mark Hunt out. But the problem is Mark Hunt has so much more experience against high-level strikers. Junior's relatively, you know, inexperienced in, in elite striking. We were talking about the kind of guys that Mark Hunt has faced and defeated. Jerome LeBanner, Mike Bernardo, Stefan Lecco. I mean, these are like high-level K-1 guys. And he's throwing that left and he's hook catching with Junior intention. early. Yeah. The timing is just different. The ability to capitalize on openings like that. Junior might be a better athlete. But Mark Hunt is on a completely different level kickboxing. And he pushes it forward. Los Santos needs to use angles here. Big right hand what by Junior. Shot. What a shot. He's all Junior. over Hunt now. Wow. Big overhand right. What a bomb. How good is this? What a beautiful shot by Junior Dos Santos. That overhand right of the former champion. Dos Santos just got out of the way of Hunt's attack. Amazing that Junior hasn't tried to jump on Mark Hunt. He's allowed him to recover. Maybe he just thinks he has to land that thing again, and he's looking for the next opportunity for it. But boy, that was a wake-up call for Mark Hunt. That punch was just a loud thud. That was full power, too. I mean, it's amazing that Hunt absorbed it. That's the same punch that took out Cain Velasquez, yep. that stepping in right hand. In 64 seconds. But he certainly has the respect of Mark Hunt. And Mark's looking for that left hook. And Mark tried to counter right there for that right hand on the low left of Junior Dos Santos. He tried it again. Now, one thing happens when a guy lands a devastating shot early in the fight. Many times, they bank on that as their primary technique. They know that they had success in it, and they try to land that one shot. And they look for it. And when you look for it, sometimes it's not there. You just have to fight, and you find it, like right there. Right there, and he set it up with the left hand. Junior may change levels and jab there, right there. Jab the body of Mark Hunt, then try to come over the top again with the right. Well, it was certainly a confidence builder for the former champion. Junior loves that jab to the body and then the overhand right, the kick by Hunt. You just have a feeling, Joe, when you and I sit here that this fight could end in an instant, and that's what makes it so exciting. In any second. Yep. And Junior's looking to really put some speed behind that right hand. Junior putting together some combinations. Seems to be gaining confidence now here in this round. There's a little bit of a cut over the right eye. Spinning back fist with a left hook by Junior. Spinning back fist. There's a little bit of a cut. You see that right eye? Yep. Look to spin again. Total strike so far, Dos Santos in the lead. Wow, just barely missed that right hand. Junior hit over the top hit. again. It's that same shot. Wow. Big swing and a miss by Hunt. Swing it. Final seconds of this round. Well, there's a difference in speed. That is true. You can definitely to the see the body it. again. 
Good round for the former champion. And a smile on the face of Junior Dos Santos as he works his way to his corner. Sit down. Very good, very good. Breathe. Sit down. Sit down and breathe. Good job. Keep your right hand up all the time. You're doing perfectly, but always keep your right hand up. Keep Let's take a look at some of that action. And there's a left by Hunt, a stiff jab, and look at this hammer by Junior Dos Santos. Clipped him right behind the ear, dropped Hunt face first. But Junior being very patient in this fight. Very confident in his speed advantage. And we did see that in that first round, especially towards the end of the round. And he was starting to really set up combinations near the end of the round as well, Joe. Got to use the lateral movement. Round two. They're saying keep the right hand high, keep the right hand high. because that was Junior's corner because Hunt loves that left hook. There was a right hand that just barely landed. Oh, Junior comes over the top again. The left hook is what broke the jaw of Stefan Struve. You see the blood coming out of the ear of Mark Hunt, the left ear from that nasty right hand of Dos Santos. To the body again with the jab. And he's throwing that jab to the body to set up the overhand right. Big left, leg kick, and then a left hook. Boy, the tension is thick yeah. in the air here, isn't it? Absolutely. Oh, nice oh. left hook again. He clipped him coming in. He's timing him with that left. In the capital of the world, Las Vegas, we got a stack card tonight. We Huge co-main event here, Joe. Yeah, we certainly do. Junior's got to get back to using his speed, using his movement like he did towards the end of that second, that first round, rather. Keep the pace on. There's a good jab. Hunt pushing forward. Good to the shot body. to the body by Hunt. Junior is clearly the faster fighter, but it doesn't matter if he stands right in front of Hunt. Another oh. right hand. Oh, stunning jab. Dos Santos feeling it again. And again, going to the body. He's mixing up his jabs nicely. Changing levels back and forth. So much coming the way of Mark Hunt in so many different fashions now by Dos Santos. Junior gets out of the way. Spinning back kick to the body. Well, that is becoming a commonplace technique now. It's amazing. Watch out, Hunt now, close quarters. Two rights quarters. by Hunt. And Hunt doesn't need much wind-up to he's, finish his opponent's no, night. He doesn't. He, he's timing that right hand of Junior's and ducking under it now. Big shot, just missed. <laughs> Another nice thing that jab. Hunt banks on Mike is his oh. chin. Oh, oh Junior got left. tagged. Junior got tagged. By Mark Hunt with the left and then a follow-up. Hunt's bleeding from the mouth, or from the nose rather. From that nasty jab. And, and there's take a takedown. There it is. We wondered if we would see that. And the audience erupts in booze. Junior has excellent submission skills. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt.
minute to go. Let's see if Hunt can figure out a way to get to his feet or Junior can figure out a way to submit him. Junior had just gotten clipped a moment before he went for the takedown, Joe. Well, it's also going to, if, if Hunt gets out of this round, it's going to make him a little bit more hesitant because he knows that Junior's capable of taking him down now. And then wi he's willing to take him down as well. And a lot of people forget, Junior took down Shane Carwin, who's a very good wrestler. And generally, Hunt is tough to take down. Highest takedown defense among active heavyweights. I don't think he expected it, and those are the takedowns that are the most effective. Yeah. He had oh, stuck look at that. 17 Side of his control. opponents, 20. Mounted crucifix by Junior. Final seconds of the round, though. 10 seconds. Nasty elbows here by the former champion. Hunt squirts out, got punched on the way out. Another good round for the Brazilian. We work into the corner of Mark Hunt. Hold up, hold up. Sneak, sneak. Give us a real Yep. You're doing a good job, bro. This that second phase, bro. Well, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Mark, you can't fight off the cage. You got a second phase. Keep doing a good job, bro. Right? Just watch your right hand. That's what's getting in. That's all it's getting in, bro. Just doing a good job. He's just as tight as Spira. Breathe. Spira, phone, Spira. Breathe deep. Your jabs are working, but you got to keep moving. Always keep your right hand up. You got to box and take him down. And there's a right hand over the top by Dos Santos and a nice stiff jab. And there's a left hook that staggered the former champion. And another one. Great fight. Third and final round, Dos Santos and Hunt. The battle continues. Both men have to be exhausted at this point. left on the way in. Boy, he is swinging for the fences. The right-handed Dos Santos. To the body. This is what Junior doesn't want. He doesn't want to be backed up against the cage and he gets out of the way. Junior is clearly the more fleet-footed. His movement is better, and he's faster. Again with that jab. Hunt with the left. Man, he's looking for that left hook. Nowhere safe right to hand. circle when you're fighting Mark Hunt. The left hook or that overhand right. Just over three on the clock here in the third and final round. See if Dos Santos changes levels and throws the overhand right again. Well, if you look at it from a scoring standpoint, you got to think Junior won the first round with that devastating right hand. And you got to think he probably won the second round by taking Hunt down and beating him up towards the end of the round. So in Hunt's mind, it's do or die. Yeah, significant strikes landed. There is a sizable advantage to the former heavyweight champion, Dos Santos. Just past the midway point of the third and final round. Again with that very busy jab. Beautiful jabs by the former champ. Oh. 
There's the speed. Often underutilized in MMA. Not tonight, the jab of Junior Dos Santos. Not much time left for Hunt. He's got to be more busy. He's got to really bite down on his mouthpiece and try to make this happen. If he wants to win this fight, he's got a minute and 50 to do it. And he's trying. Yep. He just can't close the distance quick enough, and Junior is getting just enough out of the way. Nice, nice uppercut. Upper cup. That's one of Junior's favorite punches is that uppercut, too. Well, that's what won him his UFC debut against Fabricio Verdum. Oh! oh! Devastating left hook! Dos Santos staggers Hunt again. Now they're both swinging for the fences. That left connected big time. Under a minute remains. for the former champion. Man! What a huge, huge victory for Junior Dos Santos. That is one happy former champion. Let's see it again. Here's the first thing that hurt him. Here's the left hook. Oh, this is a spinning kick. He clipped him and hurt him with the, the kick, drops him, and then boom! Drops on him with a right hand to finish it off. Who would have thought this was coming at the end of the fight? A three round war, and boom! Beautiful right hand to finish it off. What a huge, huge victory for Junior Dos Santos. Junior Dos Santos with a highlight reel knockout finish. Good was that. Putting himself in prime position for another shot at the heavyweight championship. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Steve Mazzagatti is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 18 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Junior Sagano.